all of us right now here, glory be to God here. You know what I've learned here? That this verse, 2 Corinthians 12 verse 10, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, insults, hardship, persecutions, difficulties. When I'm weak, I'm strong, for Christ's sake. Um, the great thing that I've always been seeing that verse lots of times, lots of, lots of many times, but like I thought the Lord led me to that scripture here. And like, when I just opened the scripture first and that one, I just seen the like sake, sake just popped out. Like, just popped out, I was like, okay, sake. Sake is this will, you know. When you're going through a trial, when you're going through problems, you're going through hardship, when it feels so hard, like, God, what's going on? Why is this working? Why isn't it going on? What's going on? It's for his sake. So if you're going through a hardship, you're going through a trial, you're going through like you're asking God for something, you're not seeing no, you feel like you're not seeing no results. That's God's will for you, for you to grow. When you go, when you're in a storm, instead of you complaining, God, why this happened? Why, why, why? Asking God, what age they teach me? A lot of people complain, but a lot of people understand this is what God wants us to be. James, 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 James will verse three, you know, for Christ allows this to happen because it produces steadfast, you know. When your faith, when your faith again tested, it produces steadfast. You need to know, you need to know that true, true testing, there's always the end goal. Mm-hmm. And what's the end goal? God is trying to mold you, build you, strengthen you, lead you, and perfect you to who has called you to be. That is the truth you will understand, man. People complain, God, why are you giving to me? Why, God, I don't deserve this. Instead, listen, in, in those moments, you should thank God. That's when God sees your, sees your faith. We all say, God, I love you, God, I love you, God. But, you know, that's when your faith gets tested. So in the storm, you praise Him. For Christ's sake, I delight in the weakness, in the insult, in the hardship, in the difficulty form. When I am weak, I am strong. God makes you strong. You cannot be strong by yourself. What I've learned here is stay in the presence of God. Stay with the Lord. If you don't, if you're outside the presence of God, you're not protected. If you're outside the presence of God, listen, you will fall when, when troubles come your way. But if you stand firm on the Lord, stand firm on waiting on God, on what God has said, uh, or someone has said to you, or what God has, has said to someone, God can speak to anybody in your life. But the first thing you must do, test every spirit, number one. But number one, test God. Listen, we have a, a, a mighty servant, amazing King of King Jesus. We have, he's the King. Ask, perhaps, to seek first the Kingdom of God. And his righteousness and everything that shall be to you. Jeremiah 2 verse 3, call to me, I will answer you. And I'll show you great mighty to you, no, you will know. He will show you things, but you will ask him. And you ask him. He was there with his His faith is confidence, what you hope for, and just want to see. Even though you don't see it, deep believe it's already done. That's what faith is. Even though you don't see it, deep believe it's done. It's like Abraham, his son. What? The, he has faith that God was spared. So the action was, was him saying, God, my, my first son Isaac, I will spare him for you. I have faith, you're not touching. And what happened? God did not touch him. Why? Because his faith shown and his faith shown. That's, and that's when God said, This guy really fears me. So sometimes God allows this to happen because God's testing you. But do you believe though? Why are you complaining? Why are you complaining? You're saying, God, I love you, God. God, put me through trials. Put me through tests. When God put you through the test, why are you complaining? We're asking God, God, strengthen me. When God puts you through a test, that's when you're saying you're complaining. Don't be, you see what I'm trying to say? Sometimes we may need to look back at what we're saying and ask, sorry, and, and, and ask ourselves, what is God trying to teach us? What is He really trying to teach us? Because there's a beauty of waiting, there's a beauty on waiting in the Lord, there's a, beauty in, there's a beauty in staying in the Lord. Listen, the whole goal for us is what? For us to depend on the Lord. God, God wants to bring you back, bring me, all of us back, because the end goes for dependency. If you have dependency on Jesus Christ, nobody can lock, lock you down. No matter what trials come, tribulations, Finance, what takes ain't going the way you want to go. God is the center. So listen, let me tell you something right now. A girl can't feel your soul. The money can't feel your soul. The parties, the lights, the, the lit, the watch, the yeah, 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 the lit is all cool. None of that can feel you. Only person that can feel you is God. Listen, the right person God has. But the first thing you must do is seek Him first because all the rest is added on when you seek Him diligently, wholeheartedly. Listen, me and you are saved, not how we pray, not how we read the Bible, but the grace of God. God didn't die for me and you. If it's something that come for us, we are doomed. So just remember that it's, listen, it's, not, it's not about works. Because if you rely on your works, like, oh, I pray, I did it, I did this, you rely on yourself. But we must rely on Jesus God because He died, it is finished. So that's what I, that's what I say. I'm going to come up for just but one. No reason why that. God put you in a situation. Know that it's for his testing. It's for your own testing. It's, it makes you stronger. It builds your character. And I don't know to that. Listen, we're not, we're not saved by work. God died on the cross saved us. It's the grace of God. It's his grace. It's the grace of God. 
stay prayed up, stay good, and make sure you stay close with God. The Bible says, He who dwells only the secret place of the most of God shall abide on the shadow of mighty. I will say all those refuge for just him I trust. Once you seek refuge in Jesus, he will he will give you peace. Proverbs 3, verse 6, last one. In all your ways, acknowledge the Lord and He shall direct you. But once you acknowledge Him in everything you ask for, He will direct you. So, you man, roll safe. God bless, man. Love.